Hey, I'm Christy. I'm so excited to start this new series with you. It's called Known. And our memory verse for this series helps us see that we are each known by God. So let's start memorizing it. Oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. Psalm 139, one. It's kind of crazy to think that God knows everything about each of us, but it's true. And today we're going to look at how Jesus gives us new life. Raise your hand if you love new things. I do. I love getting new clothes, new games, new toys, new technology. It's always so exciting. Well, did you know that you can be new too? Well, what does that even mean? Let's go to my friend Stewie to find out. Hello everyone and welcome to our game show, Who Are You? I'm your host, Stewie, and today we have a special guest this week. Everyone give a please round of applause to... Roger! Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, Roger. Now tell me, who are you? Glad to be here, Stewie. My name is Roger, and I am a trumpet player, and I would describe myself as... uh, Wrong! What? That is not the right answer. But that's who I am. No buts. Time for Bible Trivia. Roger, buckle in because things are about to get crazy. Question one. With Jesus, we can all have a new life. What does that mean? It means our old lives are forgiven and let go, and we can have a fresh start with God. No, it means that our lives are no longer old. That's because they're new, so our old life is older than our new life. Does that make sense? Not really. Stick with me, Roger. Question two. How do you spell Nicodemus? Who? Wait, actually, I'm not even sure how to spell that one myself. All right, moving on to the next question. Hold on, Stewie. Slow down. It feels like you're missing the point here. Um, who is the host of this game show here? But you're going about it all wrong. A new life with Jesus isn't as simple as saying it's new. It goes much deeper than that. We have to focus on growing every day, allowing God to strengthen us as we open our hearts to Him and get to know Him more, and solidifying our path so that we are constantly moving towards eternal life with God. Huh. That answer is a lot longer than the answers I had written earlier. Well, there's just so much to do with our new lives that it's hard to fit it all and, I guess, all your notes. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Do you have any more questions? Uh... I don't really know anymore. I'm kind of confused. How about we just start the game show fresh, just like when you start a new life with Jesus? That's a great idea! (laughs) Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Who Are You? Today, we have... You don't have to do the whole intro again. Oh, okay, Roger. Why is it so important that we start new lives with Jesus when we become believers? Because Jesus tells us we have to have a new life in Him to experience the kingdom of God one day. Wow! What a great answer! I'm back! The greatest game show of all time! Hey, that's part of who you are! That's all we have time for today, folks. Thank you so much for being here. 
That game show was pretty uh, crazy. But he asked an important question. Who are you? Have you ever been asked that question before? Maybe you responded with your name or some interesting facts about you. For me, I would say my name is Christy and I'm a mom and I'm a wife. I'm a piano player. I love music, but most importantly, I'm a follower of Jesus. That's part of my identity, that I'm a follower of Jesus. In fact, Jesus is where I get my identity from. God created me and he created each of us to be different. He knows us. We are known by him. And when we make Jesus the leader of our lives, he gives us new life. But what does that even mean? The idea of a new life does sound pretty confusing if you've never heard of it before. So let's all say, Jesus gives me new life. Ready? Jesus gives me new life. Well, let's go to our Bible story to help us understand what new life in Jesus means. We started talking about a man named Nicodemus. Crazy name. Well, he got to actually talk with Jesus while he was here on earth. And that is so cool. Nicodemus was a religious leader at the time. He helped people learn about the law of Moses. Well, when Jesus started to teach, he started to teach about how to have a relationship with God. And that was a completely new thing. The religious leaders didn't like Jesus because it was different. But Nicodemus wanted to ask Jesus about all the amazing miracles that he had performed. He wanted to know more about Jesus and he had a lot of questions. Let's read about Nicodemus in John chapter 3 verses 1 through 15 and verses 18 through 21. There was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish religious leader who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Nicodemus recognized that God was with Jesus. He had performed miracles and changed people's lives. And here's what Jesus tells him. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth. Unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? exclaimed Nicodemus. Yikes, I think we can understand Nicodemus' struggle. When you hear born again, it sounds crazy because it's impossible. We've already been born once when we were babies. How can we be born again? Well, let's look back at Jesus' answer. Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Did you understand Jesus' answer to what it means to be being born again? Well, he explains that one must be born of spirit and water. Our spirits, not our bodies, are born again when we make Jesus the leader of our lives. He gives us new life and the Holy Spirit comes into our hearts. We're washed clean of our sins and God forgives us. Jesus gives me new life. Let's say it again. Jesus gives me new life. To be born again of water is when we're baptized. Jesus says that we should get baptized after we make the decision to make Jesus the leader of our lives. It shows everyone that we've started a new life without the burden of our past weighing us down. Now, Nicodemus was still a little bit confused, but that's okay. The Bible's a huge book, and Jesus taught so many lessons during his time on earth. It takes a long time to learn it all. And even a lifetime won't allow you to fully understand the Bible because God is too complex and wise for us to ever comprehend. That's why it all starts with having faith, trusting the journey our new life with God will take us on, even without fully knowing what will happen. Now being born again in spirit means a fresh start to leaving the past behind and accepting Jesus' forgiveness. This allows us to move forward with the intention to grow more like God each and every day. Starting a new life with Jesus is kind of like starting on a fresh page with a cheat sheet. God is with you the entire time, guiding your path and giving you strength. Doesn't that sound so much cooler than walking with no idea where you're going? Jesus gives me new life. Say with me. Jesus gives me new life. We see how we can have this new life because Jesus gave his life for us and to forgive us. He tells Nicodemus about this in John 3, 16 through 17. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish, but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. God sent Jesus to earth so that we could have new life in him because of his sacrifice on the cross. 
The first step to living in this new life that Jesus gives us is to make him the leader of our lives. And when we do this, we're born again of the Spirit. Jesus gives us a new life and a new identity in him. Next week, we're going to dive into what it looks like for us to have a new identity in Jesus and be born again of the Spirit. Once we start that new life with Jesus and make him the leader of our lives, baptism is our next step. Now we're going to talk about baptism and being born again of water in a few weeks because there's a lot more to say about it, but it's important to know that it is the very next step. Jesus gives me new life. Say it with me. Jesus gives me new life. The idea of starting a whole new life sounds pretty scary. And you can spend a long time learning all about God and His Son, but without taking the step to dedicate your life to Him and allow your spirit to be born again, you won't grow. You can't only partially allow God into your heart and expect to see a huge change. You gotta be all in. That's why it's a new life after all and not, well, a tiny slice of a new life. Jesus gives us a new life here on earth and it's only through Him that we can have eternal life with God in heaven in the future. But we can't get there without a relationship with Jesus. We see this in John 14, 6. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. A relationship and a new life with Jesus is our key to a life with God. If you're thinking about making Jesus the leader of your life, go for it. It can be kind of scary to put your own wants and desires aside and do a complete life trust fall with God, but I can tell you, it is the most freeing feeling. Just knowing that no matter what happens, God has everything taken care of, has helped me overcome so many of my fears and worries. And if you wanna do that, you can pray with me right now. Dear God, I recognize that I've sinned and I've done wrong. I don't wanna do that anymore. I wanna have a new life in you. I want my identity to come from you. Come into my heart and be the leader of my life. In your name we pray, amen. This week, talk to your parent or your guardian or a leader about what it means to have new life in Jesus. Ask them how their life changed when they decided to make Jesus the leader of their life and any advice that they might have for you. I had such a great time with you guys today and next week we're going to be diving into what it looks like to be born again of spirit and take on the new identity that Jesus gives us. I look forward to seeing you. Have a great rest of your day and don't forget, Handing your life over entirely to God will free you from everything holding you back and give you new life.